spray, bitch. Yes, your boy got J's out the asshole. Yes, your boy got J's out the asshole. Yes, your boy got. Yes, your boy got. Yes, your boy got. Yes, your boy got. Yes, your boy got J's out the asshole. I used to get them just to style on them and flash holes. And over the years, I done acquired mad souls. Had niggas like, damn, Dave, how long you had those? What up, though? It's your boy. Detroit Day, and you know who I am, and you've been subscribed to the channel, and if you don't know, you about to find out. That's Stretch Money, this is track number 10, entitled, You Know, shit so hard bro, like, this is one of the songs that is the contender for the best song on the album. Like, this shit is so hard. Five out of five stars. This shit is so hard. And there's so many Detroit references in here. Like, it just makes me feel good, man. But anyway, that Stretch Money, man. 2006 release or 2007 release. Takes Money to Make Money album. Classic album, in my opinion. And this is what we've been vibing with for these past few uh, weeks, man, you know, on, on Reflections. So that's what we got going on. If you don't know, I am your boy Detroit Dane, which you can see right here on the banner. I am the fuel of the plug. What that means to you is that if you want a sneaker that's coming out soon, it's hard to get. You don't want to have to worry about missing a sneaker. You don't have time to do what it takes to get the sneaker, i.e. raffles, camping, shit like that. Hey. I get a fuck about a bitch. Bust a nut and tell that hoe to get the fuck about my shit. Catch a bus, catch a cab, bitch. Do whatever's clever or whatever. Come the fastest. Yo, this shit's so hard. But anyway, you contact me. Once you send me your payment, your sneaker is locked in. So, for instance, if you want a pair of the Para Air Max ones that come out Saturday, you know that it's crazy. You know that StockX got them guys for five, six hundred dollars, some size even twelve hundred. As you seen, um, you know, you don't have to worry about camping out and all that. Call my number, man. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna give it to you early, man. Six seven eight eight three zero. 6690 is really the easiest way to contact me and do any type of business or have any type of discussions. Like, that's just what it is. We a year in now, baby. You should know this by now. But since you knew, you have no clue. So, that's what you do. You call the pre-order plug. You pre-order your sneaker with me. I make sure you get it. That's what it is. And the easiest way to stay up on me as far as, like, social media will be the Instagram. So, here it is. Bam. D-T-R-O-Y-T. Underscore D A V E. Make sure you throw the at symbol in the front. And then you can follow me on Twitter. Um, you can follow me on uh, Instagram, and that's the best way because you see the pictures right there. Bam. Oh, okay. The cement tan is coming out Saturday. I can pre order them with, with Dave. Okay, bet. You know what I mean? Like, that's how it works. So, um, now that we got the business out of the way, if you like the video, I hope you give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and all that good shit. But we about to get right into it, man, because you know what today is, right? Right? You know. You know today, Tuesday. And you know what happens on this channel on Tuesdays. Don't you? Well, first of all, just let me let you know that it's season two out here. And since it's Tuesday, it's time to look back at a piece in your boy's collection, man. This is Reflections. Episode 44. Last week was the one year anniversary of this wonderful series. So I hope you guys saw that one year anniversary. And I hope you guys have been able to cycle through all of the other 42 episodes of this tremendous show. 
that I give you guys from the heart every week. So before we get into this, I just want to show y'all something real quick. Brand new in the box. Size 10 and a half. African American. Levi's Air Jordan 4 with the tag. Holla at me if you need them. Or just swap me an 11. Because I actually really like this sneaker. The peanut butter sole is dope. And um, I think I want to keep it, man. So if you got a size 11 and you need a 10.5, or if you just want to show your boy Detroit some love, swap me a size 11 so I can put them on feet. Or just holla at me, and I'll let you get them off me. Bust a bowling. Excuse me. Ugh. Wanted to go ahead and throw those away real quick. Now, we about to get into something crazy right here. 2015 release. As you can see, the regular Nike box. Nike branding on the bottom. Orange box all the way around. And we about to do something for the runner fans. Just because it's summertime. And sometimes you feel like throwing on a low time runner, man. Something that's coming. This is the khaki Air Hirachi. Boom, 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 boom. Now, this is a dope sneaker to me. And as you can see, I have worn it. But when you look at these soles, it's not going to look like it. And uh, this is a very, very dope colorway. On the box it says uh, light beige, atomic mango. So I thought it was pretty dope. But like I said, here you have the 2000, 2015 release, Air Hirachi. And this sneaker is just so light, like compared to the Jordans that I feel. You know what I'm saying? Or the sneakers that I that I deal with on a regular basis. These sneakers are very, very lightweight. But, I mean, the Hirachi run has always been that way. You know, from the beginning, from the 90s. Because this sneaker actually originally came out when I was in uh, seventh grade, I want to say. So it was like 91, 92. Um, but, yeah, man. Dope sneaker. This particular one. Um... Mostly uh, tan, suede, as you can say. Uh, as you can see, kind of look like desert sand across the toe box. It's like a nylon material. Oh my God! Hold on, man. This your boy Stretch Money. This song is called "Get That Dough." This is another one. I have listened to this song on repeat in my car probably for about a week straight before. Uh, and as a matter of fact, this might be the one that's on repeat right now. This song's so ridiculous, bro. Get up, get out, go and get that cash. You gotta get up, get out, go and get that fast. Cause ain't nothing like... Nothing like having it. Bust heads for the bread. That's just the half of it. The beat's so silky, man. But anyway. So you got like that sand material. It looks like kind of the desert sand across the top. And then you got the atomic mango soles. And like I said, as you can see, these do look DS because, once again, clean your shoes after every wear. And they stay looking ridiculous like this. With the white mid sole with Nike Air on the back. So I think they're pretty dope. Um, a nice new buck, dura buck right here and around the toe box. Uh, I want to say this is a high quality sneaker, but it's, it's decent, you know, and it's definitely super comfortable. I like them a lot. And so we're going to talk about it because... I really feel like a lot of the, my sneakers that I keep in the closet, my Nike sportswear stuff, things like that, 
Um, I don't really talk about them. I don't really give them enough shine. Of course, I would say 90% of my collection is Air Jordans. But um, I do have other sneakers besides Jordans. And so I wanted to kind of give these some light because I feel like I kind of neglect these sneakers. And um, I still like them. They still dope shoes. So I would rather take some time to, you know, flip in the couch, tell macho to smack your bitch in the mouth. Yeah. The figures of clout, money is the motivation, you figure it out, uh, I liquor it out, licorice lack Lakeisha, uh, the colorway just works, man, it's a very natural, very earthy tone shoe, um, and like I said, it's extremely comfortable, if y'all don't know about Harachis, they fit like almost socks with a sole on, so before Ultra Boost, before Yeezys, before all this other stuff that's popping right now, Harachis was the original sneaker that was made to fit like that. I mean, it folds right up, you know what I mean? Like, it's just a very comfortable, very sock-like sneaker that was made uh, for runners, man. It makes you feel like it's less and less on your foot. And like I said, this was one of the original ones, and it's also got great ankle art support in the back. So, yeah, these dope. So, how did I get these? So, I'm messing around on finish line one day. And uh, I think I was trying to find, like, a t-shirt or something I was looking for. Uh, and I saw that these was on sale. This one, and it was another colorway that was on sale. I kind of wish I had gotten those now. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. It was like a blue or a teal colorway, a bluish green. And um, the top was the same way, but instead, since it was bluish green, it looked like water waves. And then the rest of it was like bluish teal suede. They was pretty dope. Um, so I seen both of those on sale. And I'm like, what? Because I think they were like 100 bucks retail. But they was on sale for 40% off. So them, them guys was $59.98. I said, yeah. Oh, yeah. Run those. So I did not even pay retail to get this sneaker. Um, didn't go camp out for it or any of that. This is just one of those shoes that I liked it. I thought it was dope. The price was ridiculous. So I said, come on in. Now, as far as runners, I don't really have many runners. Um, I got a pair of Air Max 95s. And these. And that's about it. Oh, I got some blue tent V2s if you want to consider those runners. But I don't really have a lot of runners. Runners are not really, you know, my main thing. So um, as far as my runner sneakers, I guess this probably would be my favorite. No, I'm tripping. I got Air Max Plus. I'm tripping. I'm tripping hard. Um, I got the water blue Air Max Plus and I got the Tiger Stripe Air Max Plus. So those are definitely my favorite running sneakers. But these are super dope, super comfortable. Um, I've had them for three years, like I said, 2015. And um, I really haven't even worn them that much, man, to be honest. I probably put this shoe on maybe three times, you know, um, and not for long, you know, because I don't run at all. Um, but, you know, I think this is a sneaker that I definitely would pull out more. It's definitely a summertime sneaker. I don't see myself running to this one um, when it's cold out. But I do definitely think this is a great summertime sneaker, fall sneaker, um, with like a windbreaker pant or shorts. You know what I mean? I think, uh, I think that's the perfect way to play these sneakers. So there you have a 2015 release, or it might have released in 2014 because it was on sale in 2015. So it might have been 2014, but um, the light mango, or excuse me, the light chalk, light beige chalk atomic mango, excuse me, the light beige chalk atomic mango, Air Hirachi Run. And uh, I definitely appreciate y'all taking this time to reflect on these with me. And I'm definitely going to be pulling some more of the sportswear boxes out and give y'all a little bit more of the flavors that's inside the closet since I really don't give y'all much of that. I really just uh, rock with y'all with the mics, which is out of the closet. 
you know, as you can see. And uh, these are just up here chilling because I was about to shoot my other video, but then I ran out of time. And this is the one that I really care about, the Tuesday video. The month video, I can put that out anytime. And you will see these in the July video. It's coming, I promise you. I know I told you last week it's coming soon. Like, it might come out today. Like, that's how that's how soon it's coming. So today, tomorrow, maybe Thursday, I don't know. We got the July video coming for you. Um, but yeah, man, episode 44 of Reflections is in the books, man. Nike Air Hirachi Run. Very, very dope colorway. I like them a lot. Got them for the low. And there you have it, man. You know where I'm from, man. It's your boy, Detroit Day. Summertime, come top the top of the Chevy yard. Candy paint, flip flop, dripping like spaghetti sauce.